For our next muscle, we're looking at glute max. It's going to take its origin along the posterior iliac crest, table of the sacrum, and the coccyx. You're covering the whole posterior rim of the pelvic girdle here and sacrum. The fibers are going to travel across, forming most of what we see as the glute tissue. And it's going to have two locations it's going to insert in. You're going to have fibers that insert just below this greater trochanter at the gluteal tuberosity. And the remaining fibers are going to continue into and form the iliotibial band, which is a very long tendon along the lateral thigh. Sometimes it's called the iliotibial tract, ITB, ITT. It's a very long tendon that's going to ultimately cross the lateral knee to insert on the lateral condyle of the tibia, just above the fibular head. Despite the length of this tendon, the actions for this muscle are going to be limited to the hip. We're going to get hip extension. So if you would, Reagan, hip no, extension. Sorry, hip extension. No worries. Thank you, sir. <laughs> now, most importantly for glute max, it is a forced hip extender. So I'll talk more about that uh, when we go to Q&A right after this video. Uh, but hip extension, it is a lateral rotator. So it will rotate the hip laterally. So turning the foot out there. Perfect. And then it is also listed, you'll see, as a trunk extensor, which just means that if Reagan comes into trunk extension, you'll see glute max getting involved as well from the top. Okay, so hip extension, lateral rotation, and trunk extension.